What's up everybody, Jamie here, Nomadic Rev. Welcome back to another video today. <clears throat> Just out doing a little uh, drive here. Beautiful day. It's probably, let's see, 63 degrees. And right now there's a little bit of rain coming down. But um, yeah, it's a Sunday afternoon. Just went by the lake. Uh, and a uh, little park, beach area, a whole bunch of people out there. We even had jet skiers, which is crazy because I don't know when the ice melted, but it was probably less than a month ago where it was totally melted. So one of the things that happens in Minnesota is that when winter ends here and it gets to be like warm, and warm here is like 50 degrees, Everybody goes outside, everybody has shorts and flip-flops. It's crazy. So, it's always a good feeling. I'm still wearing a hoodie today just because there is a little bit of a chill in the air. But, hey, anyways, I want to talk just for a few minutes today about uh, a friend of mine that has an interesting response to difficult questions. You know, in my last video I talked about uh, is social media a waste of time? Is it worth it anymore? And what got me to thinking about that was because so many people now can post on social media and everybody can share their opinions and ideas. And on the one hand, that's a good thing. But on the other hand, if you have somebody who's just on their phone scrolling through their Facebook, you know, there's a high probability that there's a diminished value to them of what people post on social media. But what I want to talk about is, is how somewhere along the line, we as a society have lost the ability to, to acknowledge what we don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like I have a friend of mine and, and I was talking to him the other day, we were chatting and I said, I said, you know, cause conspiracy theory, that's a word that gets, you know, thrown around a lot. Um, I said, you know, what do you think a conspiracy theory is? And his response was brilliant actually. Um, got some farmer action over here. Um, his response was brilliant because all he said was, I don't know. And I was thinking about those three words, like, if you look at what's happening right now with this coronavirus and the media and everything and how much stuff changes, like, not, not monthly, but like weekly, and sometimes even daily, even from like people who are like the quote unquote experts, you know, I watched a video recently and this guy was saying, you know, a doctor was talking about there's a reason that we call it practicing medicine because there's a lot we don't know. In science, science is always changing. And, you know, intellectually honest scientists will regular, regularly talk about or say at least, I don't know, I don't know. And I think one of the things that social media has done is it's it's causing everyone to not want to look stupid. So nobody wants to admit what they don't know. Nobody wants to admit what they don't know. Um, I heard someone say, or I heard someone talking about recently how um, the past can't define you or shouldn't define you. You shouldn't allow it to define you. And yet, how many people um, really get caught up in things from their past that they're embarrassed about and they don't want other people to know? Um, which is just kind of crazy. Hold on, I'm gonna show you something really quick. So this is like one of my favorite spots to come and just kind of look out. It probably doesn't do it justice on the camera, but from the top of this hill here, you can literally see for miles pretty cool I like coming down here because it's out in the country and there's not a lot of people usually 
other than a lot of farmers. And then this, uh, this dirt road is pretty cool actually. Fun to drive down. So anyways, now I forgot what I was talking about. Oh yeah, so, you know, there's a lot we don't know. And I think society and culture would be a lot better off if we went back to being comfortable with what we we don't know and what we don't understand. Um, because we have, we're finite beings. Like we, we have limited knowledge, we have limited understanding. And so it would do everyone good, I think, um, to get back to practicing the art of acknowledging what we don't know. Everybody, so when, it, when an issue like this comes up, everybody wants to sound like an expert. And in reality, everybody's learning. And uh, everybody would do well to stay in their lane and acknowledge what they don't know or they don't understand. So anyways, that's something I was thinking about today and something I was thinking would be good to remember. This is a pretty cool, pretty cool drive here. It's actually, there's another car coming up here, which is kind of unusual. You don't usually see it. Don't, I've been down this road many times and haven't passed anybody. Oh, that's pretty cool there too. Let me show you this really quick. I'm going to stop. wait till this truck goes by though because otherwise I'm gonna get hammered with dust huh he ended up turning anyways check this out I passed this the other day and wanted to stop and shoot some video it's a pretty cool little creek area sorry about the wind Kind of cool. Winds around. Actually comes out from underneath the, the road there. Just a cool little creek. starting to rain a little harder though. Whoa. Anyways, I'll do a, a little Sunday drive. Hope you guys are doing well. Comment below, let me know what you're up to on this. Uh, hopefully it's beautiful by you kind of a sun shower here. The land of 10,000 lakes, I'm not sure if that counts as a lake. to say I don't know embrace what you don't know because everybody has limited understanding so I hope you guys are having a good day I'll uh, catch you soon